and I'm gonna explain to you how it works and what's happening. So the first things I wanna let you guys know, this this ain't exactly a scoreboard. It's more of a simulation, but it works like a scoreboard. It gets you tracks your money, your kill streak, your kills, your death, your time played. But specifically, if you only wanna do one, like only your name and money, or you wanna remove name, I'll do other parts how to like customize it and I'll teach you guys that. But for which the one I'm gonna teach you guys, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So this is, if you wanna do this one, it's about this big, about the video, when you look at this. And I have this one, which I'm gonna put sturdy on these redstone, I'm going this one, okay guys? And I'm gonna make this easier for the people that, hold on, give me two seconds. Some people only want a scoreboard with the money or just the name, but I'm going to give you two options, alright, and I'm going to teach you how to work it. Now you're going to see all these, what you see right now is not what the scoreboard looks like. You will teach you what that means in this too, but it's going to end on money, so you guys don't have to do any extra work, and I'll remove some other things later on to teach you how to do other cool things with it. But this is part one, I'm gonna teach you how to work the money and that's all I gotta do for you guys today in this video. But if you have any questions down below or need help, let me know and I'll try to help you and get to it as fast as I can. But what you're going to do, is you're going to go boom, boom, or it's a boom. It's boom, boom, forgot. Yeah, so as I thought, um, oh, did I remove the objective? These guys have to remove the objective name. Oh, Jesus. I'm just gonna delete that real quick. So I'm not retyping it right now. It's gonna take too long to realize that. But as you guys are you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna see, I'm gonna go through this and it's take me a few seconds to do all this. But money, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make an objective and this objective has to have the same name as I'm about to show you, and if that does not actually cooperate with that name, the scoreboard's not gonna work. Now, um, if you guys have any other name with money or anything, I'm gonna show you where to type that, because let's say you have an objective and you don't wanna reset everybody's money, you wanna keep it the same name. Let's you do equals through execute command, and you make it so the equal the same thing, but right here. So it's saying the name of the objective and then the score so it's saying the score of whatever the objective name is, this is the objective name right here. So if I erase this, it's going to disappear. And say you put it to MUN, or you made it so it's just capital M, you're just going to do that. But you're going to replace that right there. And then you're going to add this bracket formation right here. And then what you're going to do is up here, you're going to see, these aren't the actual brackets you use. But that's if you add that symbol, which is a symbol I'll teach you guys how to get to on controller. Can't really teach you on PlayStation because it's easier in controller to show. But if you race, that's what it looks like. And those are all the brackets, all the um, quotes and all that. But now I'm gonna show you how to get on the controller. Do comma, boom, 
and you're going to go boom bam and it's gonna probably you're going to, need to add this this and then whatever so if I put money and I just add that blank like what I did so you don't have to actually add anything and just go boom again and just go boom like that and then after you're done with that you're gonna go boom boom wait hold up I should be working what oh by text okay so oh I just forgot this bracket okay so now it shows the money and this is a smaller version of this so if I put this off right here, because you always got to end on the text to make it with those bracket coordination. This is what it's going to look like if you do what this one is. And this one's just a lot of typing, which a lot of people don't want to type. But if so, and you really want to type this, I'll get to the top of it real quick. And you're going to see. I'm gonna make sure I remember what that bracket is on here. Oops, I forgot. Okay, that's what it looks like without it. Now, if you guys want to hurry and pause the video and type that in whenever you're ready, go ahead. And, yeah. Now, give me a minute. Just real quick. Sorry, but that's only due to my controller having it broken, so it goes always to headset. So I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm just guessing you guys can't, so I don't have to do anything hard. Don't ever add two of them at the same time. It's gonna do that. And then this is gonna. You can change the colors by putting double S here and wherever you want it. So if you want it to be by money, put a double S here and put it four. That'll make it red, let's say. Or if you want to change the name up here, as you see, like where it says this name. You actually erase the text between this right here so we see all of that and then you end right here and it can be pretty long it's just trust me you don't want it to be too long and if you want to center it out remove a few of the spaces um, that are added because they're not all needed because that's for like the one that's big because it makes it look in the middle and then this is what's actually behind the money this is what you're gonna do so um, on your first one you're just gonna add it all money zero now that's whatever is in the name of that score that command you put. If you put like without capital N, don't do this. But for what I'm doing right now, I'm going to have to do so. Add, let's see, I put a capital N, and then you're gonna put dummy. So if you, I already have that, so it's gonna say an objective that already exists. But as you can tell, this has a capital M. When I put it, it has a capital M, and the one in this scoreboard right here has a capital M, AK between this point in this point all the way right here so if you put if you put a lowercase m you have to put lowercase m for that what i just did earlier in the chat and that right there and when you're done with all that you've fully done the scoreboard and if you want to add any extra more or learn how to actually do this by yourself you can do cool things like right here you see right between these two brackets right here just in the middle you put k it's gonna put a k right next so if i put money 90k so if you do something like if they have triple digits, like let's say you do slash scoreboard players, test at all, zero, whatever, if they have like a thousand dollars, it will display if I have a K, I'll say instead of it showing exactly ninety thousand, you can just put a K at the end. Now if you want to work around with the commands with that, you can. And but if you don't want stuff like to do anything like that, like you make it switch a scoreboard. And some people wouldn't prefer that because sometimes it gets a little too big on their screen, so they like when they do that. But some people don't because then they can't see exactly what dollar they have. But if you want to do just the money, like I said, just do this. Now, if you want to get to the big boy and start working really hard, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the kills and the deaths, which is pretty easy. And I'm going to teach you how to do adding minutes and all the kill streaks and all that teach you how to do the kill streak too and get that working so as you see here i'll teach you how to do template in the next video you're gonna have to type all of this now i might put this in my description 
or in my comments below if I can copy this on my phone because I'm not typing this again. But for you guys, I might. You're really going to type this and like I said, if you have to go back in the video and look at it without that one bracket up there, you can. You're going to type all this basically. It doesn't have to be word by word like we said. Like I said, this right here, between these, this bracket and this bracket, after text, you can fix that. If you want to have a different objective name, you can. But if you want to remove time played, all you got to do is just remove all of it and have that double text. With it. If it doesn't have text at the end and it has that double um, bracket like, like what I'm about to show you, you're going to have to add a text and then you do that thing where it doesn't have any space in the middle and then add that bracket at the end and then that weird, that regular bracket and then the weird one. And as you can tell, this bracket right here has two. That means it doesn't have text. Well, this one has, normally will end with one bracket, which is right here. But all you gotta do is type all that. And SG basically sets us to white. So like the numbers, you can tell, like for time played, you can tell it says zero or whatever, but in color, while in the other ones, it doesn't. I can change that, but I haven't yet. Now what I want you guys to do is, so I prefer doing the death search because it's pretty easy. Now this is going to show you how to reset kill streak and all that, but that is, if you have the death with the capital D in there with the S at the end and everything, like how I did it, you're just going to add one with everybody with the level, aka their like XP, and comma LM which means mode and level zero. And that basically just means, um, I forgot exactly what it means, but it means basically mode zero. And then this one saying at all L equals zero has died in battle. So anybody with a level zero died in, that literally has zero levels will die, basically. And that's how it works. And they will say died in battle. And this one's going to reset the kill streak. And even if they don't have a kill streak, it still resets it. So no glitch can happen. And XP at all L equal one. So this right here, you'll add 14 deaths no matter what. And you can't get any more and it won't glitch out. Now what you're going to do for the kill system after doing this, I'm going to show you how to make sure it works so you guys can see. So if I go slash game mode A, so you have 13 deaths right now, 14 now. And then it have a kill streak. Now if I do slash summon, let's do cow. Now let's say I kill this cow. I'm gonna get a kill, which gives me a hundred dollars. It's gonna give me a kill streak, which gives me one. And just wait for this long process. Hold up. It's gonna take me one second to just to go. And it works if people are not switching to game mode A and game mode C. It, but they have to be in game mode A. If they don't have venture mode, which is game mode A. It won't work. You're gonna put L equal two or something, or L equal one. For how exactly which ones they don't have it in my world, but reset the kill streak and add a death, as I said. Now, when you when you realize that works, you can also see in chat it says, "Why did you plays has died in battle?" Most people don't know how to do that because, um, that's actually a command. Most people don't know because it's an add-on people do, and most people don't even know that's even possible without the add-on so it's kind of cool to add in your server so you don't have to get an add-on to say something like that and the only reason why it says death in chat is because i put this right here you don't have to put these in anything i did you can actually erase that i put this so i can show you guys what to do like in this one it's everywhere but this one right here which is the scoreboard i just haven't got a name for it but now we're gonna do kills now what you're gonna do is i'm pretty sure this is a um a common YouTube tutorial because I remember doing this way back in the day and I simulated it again for myself just so I can get this working is this right here is going to basically execute the um, XP orb after dying so when you die you drop XP orb and it's basically saying that C means the closest player to that XP orb or I mean not closest player the closest XP orb summon evacuation fang so right where the XP orb is the evacuation fang summons and it kills that XP orb so it can't respawn or give you multiple kills because if it executes it two times and you get two kills but this one's saying the closest player, which that's what the C means, the closest player to that actual XP, uh, the uh, not XP, the evacuation thing after the XP, just that's where it spawns. 
it's executing the player with a radius of six which means range of six blocks and then it's closest player so it doesn't happen to two players in that radius and then it's saying add at all the I mean, add player r equals six comma c equal one so the closest player and then the radius at block and it's going to add the kills and it's the same with the kill streak it's going to add one to the kill streak um, oh, and if you remember the names, you got to keep the names like what they are in the, the command over there. And then this one you can tell, kill streak with the capital K, capital S. This one is siphon. What this one is doing is just giving anybody in that radius um, health. And if you want to remove this one, you can. But that just makes it so people get health per kill. So it's kind of like a siphon. And this one's adding money and if you want to go ahead and remove this one you don't need these two commands these are added so but if you want people to get money per kill it's very nice and interesting i prefer it in my world and this one is killing the evacuation thing at the very end so that's all you actually got to do in this right here this little video now the only difference between doing a normal scoreboard and this would be just um it would be on the side of your screen and it won't be a personal stats this is like a personal stats that you get and it's by your action bar and it's one of the most complicated scoreboards I would say that are out there not due to what the commands behind it are but normally what the command is to actually get that working which is very long now I'm gonna start part two literally up right after this so I don't go over like 30 minutes explaining to you how to do this and I'm gonna play part two and I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna show you what to do um, for time played then you want to add this for kills, which is kill streak. I just put kill capital S. You're gonna put that zero. You're gonna put with this repeating command. You're gonna put kills, and yeah, that's all you got to do. And if you want, you don't have to put this in that order. But for deaths, you want to put that right above, right above this, right here. I kind of moved it because it doesn't matter where it's really at, but I prefer prefer it being exactly right there. And this is what I'm building right now. I think I'm going to make it a kit PvP. But I'll show you how to make an animated one too later. And I'll start working on that, which will probably be a part three. You've had to customize it more. Um, But yeah, I'm going to get one in my next video. Have a great day, guys. And it's going to be literally maybe up in one, two more minutes. And like I said, have a great day, guys. Come on. <laughs> Okay, how do we end? It's not letting me end. Okay, guys, sorry, it's not letting me end.